Hey guys, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. In today's video, we're going to go over Microsoft Outlook and how to do some basic functions with email, how to create groups, how to create folders, and obviously how to send and receive and some other thing. Audio jungle. So the first thing you want to do, I'm running uh, MacBook Pro 2018. Uh, this will be pretty similar if you're running off of Windows. But the first thing you want to do is just come over to here and look for Microsoft Outlook. Go underneath your applications. And I got Microsoft Outlook here. I'm just going to create a shortcut here. All right. So over here we have the main window for Microsoft Outlook. And to create a new email, what you want to do is come over here. This is assuming that you have everything set up. I have another video. You might want to kind of look up here, over here. There should be a card, just how to set up um, a Microsoft email account at your domain. It doesn't go through Gmail. I'll probably have another email about that. But this is assuming that you already have your Outlook client set up and Outlook is configured for you. So in order to create a new message, just click over here. And let's just go to one of our email addresses, you know, one of the 50 that we have. So this was a, a signature. Mm -hmm. I've got another video where I created a, a signature and I show you how to do that. Just go to my uh, channel playlist and you'll actually see how to create a signature in Microsoft Outlook. So in order to create an email, just click over new email and just start writing out someone's email here. Um, let's see. Be mine, and you can be testing, and then all you want to do is there's a shortcut you can do. Um, let me just open up the virtual keyboard so you guys can see it. Come over here on your PC on your Windows, you can do an Alt S, that's a, a shortcut for sending. So if you're doing a lot of emails and you're a fast typer, I think you do Alt S on Windows, but uh, then you all you do is just press send. And then if you wanted to push that email faster, if you heard that noise, that's an actually a signal that the email had gone through and it's out of your outbox. So here you could just press send and receive and that'll kind of push emails that are coming to you and then also emails that you want to go out. Because sometimes you might have stuff in your outbox and on the left hand side you might see something that says uh, outbox. So over here uh, I'm just going to come over here and create folders. So I'm going to select one of my accounts. Let's just select here, all accounts. Let's click here, this email address. So within this email address, we go to inbox. And once you're at the inbox, you could create new folder. And you could create this folder, emails, from Diana. Now Diana is one of my employees so what I'll do is every time an email comes from Diana what I'm gonna do is actually have a filter that says any email that's come from comes from her I want to filter her emails and have it in this inbox and this is just for like basic email management because if you receive a lot of emails from a lot of people you want to make sure that the ones that are important are in a certain folder so that's what I like to do. So let's come over to our all inbox. And let's say this is, where's Dion's email? Uh, let's, you know what, for example, let's just say this is her email. So we'll just right click over here. And we can create a rule. So we can edit the rule. Let's say this is one of your employees or you know someone that you want to prioritize emails and you always want to find them. So that email folder that we call emails from Diana, let's say this is Diana's email address, what we want to do is right click and what we're going to do is create a rule. So let's just edit rules and what we want to do is click on plus. Now we're going to create this rule called Diana. When a new message arrives 
from Diana, let's say this contains Diana's email, do the following. What we're going to do is move message to choose folder. And you want to start, start typing in that folder name. So emails from and Outlook automatically finds exactly where that is. So we choose, select choose. And you make sure that it is enabled and you click OK. So now every time an email comes from this email address, it's automatically going to come over to here. And what we can do now is, let's say, okay, this is Pinterest. Let's say this is an email or spam or an email that keeps coming to your inbox and that you, you want to kind of ignore, you have a couple of options. You can right click, you could create a rule for it as well, or you can send it to junk mail. So you can either block the sender or you can mark as junk and it'll always go to junk, your junk mail. So some other options that you can do is you can follow up. So if this is an important email, what you want to do is you can follow up tomorrow and that'll actually give you um, an indication tomorrow in your inbox to follow up, which is good because over on the right hand side, it actually shows kind of priority to follow up. And one other cool thing you can do is if you want to prioritize these or categorize these, this is uh, somewhat not a new feature, but it's a feature that I have started using. You can prioritize these or categorize these as um, personal family or friends or travel you can even create your own categories if you edit categories so here you can just click on plus and you can say this is work work related or in my case because i use virtual assistants i can put vas and create and then you can select the color as well right and then you just click on close and one other thing is when you get emails from uh, a group of people, one thing that you want to be careful of is either replying all or just replying to that one person. Now this is, I guess, email etiquette. If you were going to, if, if the intended message was for everyone, then obviously you would click on reply all. But if you just wanted to send it to that one person, make sure that you're clicking reply. When I first started in the corporate environment, I remember this this one secretary, I guess she was new with Outlook, but she kept replying all so everyone would see the message. And when it comes to email, um, you know, we get thousands of emails on a weekly basis. Some, some people get thousands of emails on a daily basis. So I guess it's just more or less email etiquette. And you want to make sure that if it's intended just for that person, you can just reply. Don't hit reply all or you can forward and make sure you just forward to the appropriate people. So. That's some email etiquette. Um, just watch what you're replying to, either reply all or just replying to that single person. So what else is there? Uh, you can also right click and print on the message. So just exactly like if you're printing a page, if you wanted to print a single page, you could actually come over to here and you can expand it. And over here, the print icon is already ready. So you can do a quick print and then you can specify your settings and you could click on print. One other handy feature that I use in Microsoft Outlook is the remind feature. So over here are actually the follow up feature. So let's say this is a, you know, an important email that you need to follow up. Let's say, for example, you need to take out or you need to pay a bill and that bill need to be paid at a certain time. So you could actually highlight that email come over here and click on follow up. So what I like to do is custom and then you could actually set the date when or the due date and then the reminder. So you could and then let's just do this reminder and click on OK. Let's just change this to um, the 20th and click OK. So now that's going to be set as a reminder in your inbox and over here you can see that there is a an icon that changed here or a flag that was added. So that's everything for email basics. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment below. 
and let me know what you want to see next time and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video